Welcome back to Small Town Big Deal. We've driven over some windy mountain roads to make it to Brass Town, North Carolina. The population here, 788. And you know, Sam, they got a couple of big deals here. Well, I know of one. Well, they have the Possum Drop right here in Clay's Corner every New Year's Eve. Wait a minute, they have the what? The Possum Drop, you know, like at Times Square in the Big Ball. They drop a possum? Hey, I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> okay, well, that's, we're really here... We're really here for a year-round claim to fame. It's a little more tame than a possum. It's the John C. Campbell Folk School. Yeah, but I'm coming back on New Year's Eve. Oh, hi, dude. <laughs> In the early 1900s, John C. Campbell saw a need for preserving the folk arts of the Appalachian Mountain people. Today, the folk school is set on 300 acres in the beautiful North Carolina mountains, and it continues to preserve the folk arts through the thousands of students who journey here to learn new skills and embrace a simpler way of life. So, Jen, how many people every week come here? Uh, about 100 people. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Why do people come to this part of it? I think is that they they just really love the feeling of making something, forgetting about everything else in their life. And you're doing something that it just kind of shuts out all the other stuff in the world. And that's I think that's the secret. Psychologist uh, friends who said that doing that for just a few minutes is more restorative than sleeping all night. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feeds the soul. Yeah, totally. And you seem pretty relaxed, so it must be working. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've always liked to make things. Ever since I was a kid, I'd sew a little something or make things. I took guitar lessons. I took calligraphy class. I took woodworking. This is the place for me. In farming, you get to work with your hands and see something you got done at the end of the day, and that's how it is here. From kaleidoscopes to cooking, to making fly fishing rods, to blacksmithing, quilting, well the list just goes on and on. There are so many classes you can take at the folk school. We couldn't wait to see some of those classes for ourselves. First up, we found a group of banjo players picking a little Lazy John. There is something about a banjo that just makes you happy. All of a sudden, I noticed that Rodney's tapping his foot, I'm tapping my foot. Okay, two things on my bucket list. I want to learn to play a musical instrument, and I want to learn a foreign language. And I can get one of them right here. We heard there were some real characters lurking nearby, so we decided to check it out. <gasps> Hello, Jen and Rodney. Won't you come in? Okay. Come on in. This is puppet making. Hi, everybody. We had heard that Norbert was a bit of a smart alley. But he hadn't met our own quick-witted Jan yet. Us uh, good-looking on-air talent got to stick together. That's right, yeah, yeah. Good and, you know, looking. should I maybe think about, like, trading, trading rides? Oh, yes, I'm looking for a job, sure. Yeah? You, you got an opening? Well, I might, real soon. Oh, good. Uh, I'm sorry, Rodney, I quit. I'm going to come here full-time and work. Well, yeah. it's nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he knows who butters his brain. Yes, hi. How are you, sir? Uh, really are you hiring me right now? So when I knew we were coming to a folk school, I didn't think I'd walk into a room that had, like, neon-colored, shag-carpeting fabric women were making puppets out of. There's definitely a variety here. Look at you. You're doing some puppeting. Well, I'm trying. Hello, TV land. It looks like he's looking at me. Exactly. That's kind of creepy. That's what you want. So that's a little creepy. I hope I didn't offend Dave when I said some of the things were a little creepy, but that puppet, when I made it look at me, he was looking back. You're doing really good there with the, with the rods there. Very, do, you have, do you have experience? Uh, I do not. Oh, wow. You got raw talent there, kid. Thank you very much. While Jan played with her furry friends, I went to make some new friends of my own, the wood turning guys. I've done some building, but never really had a chance to do wood turning. Like anything else, it's just practice. Like kind of feel it. Yeah. Jump, 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 right, 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 right. Perfect. It wasn't long before Jan made it over to create a little sawdust of her own. Smooth like butter. Like butter. Look at that. There you go. Mark's going to fly right off the, the lathe. Right into the camera. No, I really enjoyed that. I'm going to have to get one of these. Well, uh, Randy. Let's go. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Enjoyed it. We've had a really great morning getting to experience firsthand what the folk school is all about. 
Now we're headed to the dining hall to experience my favorite part, homegrown food. I even like tomato soup. I wanted to drink the bowl. That was the best cheesecake I have ever had in my life. It was just like my mom used to make. It was. I'm not sure, but I think Jen had three helpings. Rodney and I took some time out, so like the students, we could enjoy this peaceful place. And you know, it worked its magic on us. I can see why people make this their vacation every year. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a country boy. When you look around here, I'm home. Jan said in his interview that this place transforms you, and the fact that we just sat down and like took off our boots and put our feet in the water right away, he's right. I could have drowned in there, I just want to say that, but I was nice. You get to feel a little bit like a kid again, because you're making things with your hands. We put our feet in that water. It felt good just to cut loose. You know, Rodney, the minute I heard about this place, I knew I was going to love it. And you know, I knew you would love it, too. There's 20 classes I want to take. Wow. What about you? You know, I take gardening, I think. Wait, you're a farmer. I know, but I don't really know that much about growing vegetables. Hmm. All right, well, then let's come back. Yeah. Maybe New Year's Eve? Re really? Yes. A possum drop? We've got to see that. What a great way to have a small-town big deal Christmas party. Oh, okay, well, now you're talking party. Cool. Okay, I'm down for that. <laughs> I don't know about the possum. <laughs> Coming up.